What does ADHD, cancer, and your vision have to do with sugar? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to the Talk About Purpose podcast. I'm Matthew Ewing. I'm Brian Harper. I'm Frank Curry. And today we're talking about sugar. All right, so what do you guys think of sugar? What do you think of sugar? I think it's the devil. I think it tastes amazing. I agree with both. Is of you. it real sugar or are you talking about the let's, bullshit? Let's talk about both. All right. There's talk about both. so much good stuff here. Because real sugar is necessary. Like you need, your cells live off of glucose, which comes from sugar. Mm-hmm. Your body can make it. Yes, your body can technically make it without sugar. But that's a lot of work on your body. That's yeah. like when you go into keto diets and stuff like that. Yes, you can make it that way. But that's a lot of work. Your body would rather, and there's even a study that proves this, your body would rather just get straight sugar to make it into glucose. Faster, more efficient, and your brain craves it. It's my Barbara. brain's fault. Yeah. Fucker. That actually it is. So there's a really cool study proving it is your brain's fault. What part of the brain? Uh, it was, I didn't, I didn't write that down because there was too many words thrown in there and they were big boy words. Probably I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dietitian. Was. None of us are. Nope. <laughs> we're nope. just looking at interesting stuff that we found about sugar. Yeah. What you do is what you do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Like, Here's... comment, and subscribe to the Talk About Purpose podcast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Love it. That was great. That was good. <laughs> do what he said. All right. Um. So, the neurons in our brain. Now, let me do the study first. Let me do the study first. I am out of order. We are jumping all over for me. Normal for us. Oh, God. I had this all nice and neatly ordered in the flow I was going. And then Brian and Frank. Never happens. Right. It never happens. Okay, that was. What the? I'm, I'm, I don't want to do this. Yeah, I, I didn't understand. You know, don't just back up and put your arm up and over. So, here's the thing, though. It's like everything else in life. With moderation, it's good, right? So sugar is okay as long as it's moderation. But, I mean, when you think about it, we don't think of sugar just straight sugar. They use high fructose corn syrup for a lot of shit now yeah. instead of sugar. So it's not real sugar. It's just bullshit that they put in there. That high and they'll put zero corn sugar on it, but yeah. really it's not. Yeah, but that, that, oh, and that, high, hold on. that stuff says the stuff that's the death. Like, so when I say sugar is the devil, it, it is if you, in overabundance, but. What's worse is the high fructose corn syrup and the freaking all the other horse shit they're putting in there. Mm-hmm. One thousand sweeteners, the fake sweeteners. That's all chemicals. Like, mm-hmm. come on now. One thousand percent. Yep. Uh, You're an ass if you take it. All right. So now we're going to that high fructose too. corn syrup. Sure. No, sorry. I I'm just all over the fucking sorry. place here. God damn! <laughs> I just found the study, you mother. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, that's hold on. Let's get through the brain first, and then we go to the interesting goodies. Uh, right, we'll just we'll just sit here and let you do everything. No, <laughs> of course. <laughs> How selfish of us. Let's do all the things that you want to do. But I just wanted to state the study that you said about with the brain. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, not, that. you know, not your mind. It's also your brain. You know how I always talk? There's a difference between the two. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You know, your mind is your actual thinking. Your brain is the physical, actual doing things, even without you knowing. Yeah. yeah. There's a study done in 2018 by several organizations, including the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse and uh, the NIH, National Institute of Health, um, where they gave people and monkeys a sweet water, just water sweetened, Mm -hmm. and then just plain regular water. At first, and then they said, you know, whatever, whichever one you prefer to drink, you know, let us know. And they didn't show them, like it was blind. So they didn't know which water was which. Mm. Uh, so at first, there was no difference between the two. And I'll get to why in a second. Okay? They couldn't really tell a difference between the two. Then, 15 minutes later, 15 minutes later, everybody went for the sweet water. Here's the kicker. They were all numb in the mouth and couldn't taste. There was no ability to taste the sugar. But every... Monkey and person went for the sweet water in 15 minutes. Oh. Without being able to taste. The fuck? That's crazy. Your body and brain know, and they force decisions on you. Wow. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's why I go to Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, yeah. Coffee is a problem for me. Sugar, actually. straight sugar, Duncan. You ever get like it's sugar and fat? Yeah, like it's horrible for you. Yep. Yeah, horrible. I drive right by it every day. Black coffee is good for you though. Black coffee. Black coffee is good if you can muster it. As long as you don't. Overdo I don't like it. mustard because caffeine is also an addictive substance. You don't put mustard in coffee, bro. Although <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I don't know about you. Yeah. I fucking hate mustard. <laughs> You hate mustard? I hate mustard. What about like a like a baseball game? Of no. Dog? Ketchup only. <laughs> How yeah. spicy Every mustard. red-blooded American knows that the only condiment that belongs on anything is ketchup. Oh, what? No, I disagree. The best condiment oh, is cheese. You guys are pro-Taliban. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's nah. a pro-Taliban. The best condiment <laughs> is cheese, brother. Mm-hmm. You probably supported 9-11. You cheese asshole. is a condiment. Cheese is not a freaking condiment. It absolutely Frank. is a condiment. Frank, Frank, <laughs> Frank <laughs> cheese is not a condiment. It's not a condiment. <laughs> you can put it on anything. Well, there is cheese in a oh, can. Uh, or, or, yeah, like uh, nacho it? cheese, kind of like that type. Like it's the not hot a freaking list. condiment. I don't know, it's man. It's not a condiment. It could be. It should have It is a dip. It should have been. It's a dip. It could be a dip. A melted cheese is a dip. Oh, hold not on. A... There's so many different forms. There's solid. Melted cheese. So I said melted cheese. Melted cheese, yeah, queso. Is it dip? Uh, yes, queso's good. Now I'm, I'm hungry. I'm starving. Dang it. All right. There's so five started. pizzas in the fridge, so we're good. Yeah, I'm good on that. I think I'm having pizza tomorrow. So let's get... Yeah. Yeah, I don't want pizza anymore. <laughs> I just filled up on pizza yesterday. Uh, ugh. I ate like a whole pot. Holy like, shit. I'm a glutton. Holy <laughs> shit. I am a glutton. <laughs> But anyways, let's keep moving on with this because now that we know that your brain tricks you and forces you into choosing sugar, yep. because that's obviously what your body wants, yeah. right? Think about all the little sugars that people add into, or companies add into the food that you don't even know. Oh, it's because it's addictive and they want you to come addictive. back, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Within 15 minutes, your body craves it. Well, I think Coca-Cola should go back to the original recipe. I think cocaine. Hey, cocaine and sugar are almost similar. What? Wait, that is what you're talking about. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. The original recipe. <laughs> well, that's a different yeah, addiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. Well, there's a lot of little, they put a lot of sweet white powder in this. <laughs> <laughs> is that powdered sugar? No, that's nose candy. Same thing, but yeah. Uh, 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 I'm not. I'm not down with that. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> no, definitely stay away from that. I'd rather you do sugar, but no, yeah. Pepsi's better anyway. Oh God, I can't do. I don't soda. drink. I, I really don't, do don't drink anything. I don't, do I don't drink sodas that water. often. I drink straight water, man. Always. I enjoy a soda every now and then. Don't do it. Especially if I'm like eating out. It's weird. Like I don't drink Taco Bell. I gotta have a soda with my Taco Bell. Baja Blast. No. I don't drink dark sodas. Yeah, I'm no. like that. You're racist. I don't. What the fuck? <laughs> you so <laughs> racist. Dark sodas, you, 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 probably, you probably drink like, Dr Pecker, don't you? No. <laughs> you ever drink it warm? No. I heard it's a thing. That really? is from a movie. Dr. Pepper or Warm, I heard it. That's heard from it's a, a movie. That's from that movie with Brandon Fraser. I don't know. The dad wanted a warm Dr. Pepper and a cold <laughs> ham and cheese. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why that sticks out <laughs> in my head. Probably because nobody warms their freaking sodas. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What I don't the, how do you so. even do that? Yeah. Do you ever see the sit thing? out or what? what? Did... How do you warm? Put it in a microwave? Yeah. Uh, and you fucking microwave. Outside of the can, yes. You don't put the can in the microwave, bro. Yeah, I, I thanks, yeah. buddy. I, I, <laughs> I understand that concept. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm dumb as shit, but I'm not that dumb. Well, they, you know, there's warnings with gerbils, and that didn't stop you. There is no warnings, unfortunately. There should have been. <laughs> How do you know that? <laughs> I bought them. I got kids. <laughs> Why'd you put the gerbil up there in the first place? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm boy. suing them because there's no warning. On the well, gerbil, dude. Itself. All right. So you eat pizza. How much sugar do they put in pizza sauce? <laughs> Tons. Yeah. Tons. Um. So. On carbs too. There's so much to cover. Uh. Before I guess. All right. I guess we could do our props now. Props. Okay. Ooh. So I have some props here. There is over. Get this. So I was researching how many types of names of sugar there is. Okay. Most of the stuff you look up, it says like 56 to 61. There's actually 257. Oh, what? Names, names for sugar, for sweeteners. Names. I'm sorry. Sweeteners. 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 Big difference. Oh. Big difference. Oh. Um, however, as I was going through my ingredients here, which you'll see, I found one that wasn't even on that list. Yeah. Well, I know about like stevia. <clears throat> what else is there? Oh, man. I don't even know. <laughs> Pops. <laughs> you like birds? 
Oh, I'm, I am going to pee some women off here. Uh, oh, that looks fucking great. <laughs> all right. Let's start with one that uh, we all know. I'm not going to say names, but this is a very common and popular name brand protein bar. Oh. Okay. Mm. I eat, was eating about one to two of these a day. Wow. Literally. Nice. Let me read the ingredients. Okay. We've got protein blend. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip through some of the boring stuff and just get to the good stuff. That's, that's, that's a birthday cake one, isn't it? That's, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, I love no, birthday. the birthday cake ones are gone. They're amazing. They oh. were the best. They stopped making them. No. Oh. I am so angry. Oh. They made it, then they made this, this version, and the reason I still have oh, this. Not, is that, that looks not bad. It's horrifying. Is it really? It's like chemical fruit, uh, fruity pebbles. Oh. It's like somebody just dipped uh. it in chemicals. Uh. It's the worst flavor yet. Well, you know, listen, hey. I can take I can take that totally away from you and give you an advice if you'd like to just drink egg whites and don't do, do, and don't do bars anymore. Just drink egg whites. I like food though. Yeah, I like okay. the satiation of food because yeah. I'm an eater. Oh, I'm yeah, a I'm terrible an eater, eater. I'm an eater. I stopped being I eater like once eating. I started fasting now. <laughs> I, it changed me a little bit. Fasting's on here for sugar, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm more. <laughs> All right. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, I knew you were gonna touch on that. Um, whey protein concentrate. Let's get to the good stuff. All right. So our first sugar, sugar, basic. Okay. Yep. Our second sugar, brown rice. That is a sweetener. It is sugar. Okay. We've got corn syrup. That is sugar. We're up to three sugars already. Allulose powder, also a sweetener. Four. Allulose powder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, roasted soybeans, fast fraction palm, palm kernel oil, allulose syrup, five sweeteners. That's a sugar. Canola oil, cashew butter, confetti blend. Uh, we've got more corn syrup, six. We've got more sugar, seven. We've got... What the actual fuck, bro? Red 40. Interesting thing with ADHD coming up about Red 40. Oh, I know about that. Yeah. And there's a lot of... Oh, here, why do they got to put fucking food coloring in everything? Why do you got to put blue food coloring in fucking marshmallows? What the fuck is Psychology. that? They're Psychology. Psychology. They're fucking white. Psychology. Uh, molasses. Shit we're now me. up to yep. eight Holy sweeteners. Fuck, eight sweeteners. I think that's it. How many grams of carbs One are in that? More. What's it say to car carb amounts on that? Eight. Um, 380 calories with... 43 carbs. 43 grams of Bullshit, carbs. by the way. There's Bullshit. no way that there's only 43 Bullshit. grams of carbs in that. Okay. I'm going to piece some people off with the next one. Now, that had eight sweeteners in it. Yeah. And the reason they do that is so that it doesn't look like there's so much sugar in there. They add all these different names, names. and then they spread them out so that it doesn't have to be the first ingredient on the list. Because what's the first ingredient on every food product? The thing that's most in the product, exactly. the thing yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, the yeah. product. Yeah, what makes up the most of it. We, yeah. even, even dog food's the same way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so they put all these different ones in there so it doesn't look like there's that much sugar in there. Yeah, because if they would just, that, that's so fucked up. Because, excuse me, if they would just put them all together, it'd be like sugar, main, main region sugar. Yep. All right. As all know, the purple bag, I'm not going to say the name. I, I hate don't want to get in trouble. Things. My daughter yeah. likes them. I hate some. This is supposed to be salty. Back there. Oh, this is supposed to be salty. Purple bag chips, guys, in a swirl. Not saying the name because I don't want to get in trouble. Um, but they suck. I don't like them. I'm there not a big is fan of them. in this there is sugar, glutamate, also a sugar. Uh, so we have two. Is there anything else? I think that's. I think there's only two in this. But the problem is TBHQ. I don't remember if that's one. Guanolate. I don't remember. Oh man, I should have wrote these down. There's so many, it's hard to keep track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even just the fact that there's two sugars in something that's supposed to be salty. Yeah. Yeah. Wake up. Wake up. That's addiction. And they're not letting you know. They're covering up the name. All right, now to pee off the women. Might Time to pee that. off the women. There is a sparkling water. I'm just going to show you this. You probably will get it from that. Hopefully you know. Let me know. Here's the scary thing with this one. Okay. This is the new most popular flavored sparkling water right now. Okay. My wife's all over these. Zero sugar, zero calories. Um, naturally flavored. Okay. Here's, here's the issue with naturally flavored. According to the like FDA. <laughs> according right. to the FDA, natural flavor 
must be derived from a natural source, like a fruit, vegetable, or animal. But just because something says natural flavor, like grapefruit flavor or something, that doesn't mean all of it's natural. You can wash it. You can uh, 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 um, get it ready with other chemicals. Oh. Like natural. So it just starts from a natural su- substance like fruit or something, and then you can do whatever chemical compositions you want to on top of it. Yeah. And still, and still claim it's natural. Yeah. That's horseshit. That's, That's horseshit. horseshit. By the FDA. Mm-hmm. It's basically a coverall <laughs> for proprietary blends and natural flavors because they are not That's actually natural. So the only ingredients in this, which is why I was like, oh, yeah, go ahead, get it, babe, because she's she loves drink. My wife loves drinking uh, sparkling waters and stuff. Here's the ingredients. Purified carbonated <laughs> water and natural flavors. Doesn't tell you anything. No, they don't have to. Wow. That's the loophole. So Natural I, flavors is the loophole. So I guess I guess my question is is can the FDA be held responsible if they're allowing Pull stuff to be in food? I saw something on TikTok recently that was saying that there's some law or something or some uh, court hearing that passed that supposedly should allow us to sue or go after the FDA for allowing bad stuff in food. Well, that would be wonderful if we could do that because. The way the thing that bothers me is the most with this government, they think we're all stupid. They, our average IQ is like 90 something, right? You know what I mean, so like, I can't believe it. That's crazy. That's crazy, like 96 or something, 98, whatever. Um, so they, they consider the most obvious is the least obvious. These stupid fucks won't know anything, right? So, why did they put food and drugs together? Why is it the Food and Drug Administration? Mm. Why think about it? I feel it's because you need both of them together because both of them interact with each other. We allow food to make you sick and take this pill to make you feel better. Mm-hmm. And then take this other pill to, count, to fight the uh, counteractions of that first pill, right? Or whatever sides yeah. you have of it, the side effects. Then take this pill to help with those sides. Oh, now you get these sides. So take this pill to help those sides. So you're taking like four pills to help the sides of the first one that you're taking because of the food that they give you. You know what I mean? Like since mm-hmm. I started fasting, I've noticed differences in my body because I'm not... I'm recovering from the food that I'm eating. Because the way I look at it now is every time I eat, I'm putting toxins into my body. That's sad, right? That is sad, I live in the United true. States of America. When I eat food from the United States of America, I know it's a toxin. It's in my body. Mm-hmm. So now I need to recover from it. So now I take 18 hours or six, uh, 16 hours, 16 by 8 to do. So I take 16 hours and I let myself recover from the eight hours of food that I just hurt myself with. That's sad. That's real. Sad. Like, and you yeah. see people always say, oh, I'll never come back to the United States. I've moved over to Europe or I've moved here or whatever, and my skin has cleared up. My ailments have been have gone. I don't have as much arthritis, this, that, mm-hmm. and everything. And then they come back to, back to the United States, and they get fucking sick again. So what's going on? The most obvious is the least obvious because they treat us like we're fucking stupid pricks. Yeah. That's what it is. They, these are all stupid fucks. We can commit war crimes. We can do whatever the fuck we want. And these stupid fucks will sit there and yap it up and just fight amongst each other. And we're going to be so blatant about it. We're just going to put it together. We're users are so stupid. It's the Food and Drug Administration because food and drugs go hand in hand. Give me a fucking break. Yeah. Yeah. And, and to, to bring you back to your point, the average life expectancy is down eight years compared to those living in China or uh, Japan mm-hmm. compared to the U.S. And they think it's mostly sugar. Mm-hmm. And if you have any sort of... Uh, mm-hmm cell type of disease, you're now 15 years worse over here. Yep. Less for your life expectancy. That's crazy. Holy shit. That's yep. crazy. Yeah. Huh. So so this this natural flavors thing is just bullshit that the FDA is letting go on right now. That that they could just there there's sugar in that. There's sugar in this. There's sweetener. Yep. There is a sweetener in that. They're hiding it. I've tasted it. It's sweet. Yeah. It is. There's a sweetener in it, but they don't say there is. Yeah. And they don't have to show you. That's and the reason weird. that's a problem, the reason that's a problem is because they're using a diet sweetener. They're using some sort of diet. There's no way you're getting that with sugar. You're not no. getting zero calories, zero carbs with no. a regular sugar. The problem with that is <laughs> the ones that are like that, like aspartame, they have, there's studies shown to be, cause cancer with aspartame. Literally proven. Uh, saccharin. Saccharin, I believe, is outlawed. Is that outlawed? Is that the outlaw? Mm-hmm. No. Cyclamate is outlawed. It was banned in the United States in 1970 because of it causing cancer. Saccharin. That one is a sweetener that's also li- linked to bladder cancer. Um, 
Asulfame, uh, potassium, ACE K, or sucralose and sucralose, which is actually in some of the other things here, but I don't. I feel like I've 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 beat that horse now. Um, these are shown in a 2008 and 17 study from the NIH, shown that male mice that had ingested those for four weeks, just four weeks, had gained weight from it. These are supposed to be diet sugars, it's supposed to help you lose weight, zero calorie sweeteners. Mm-hmm. All the male rats gained weight. The female weight, uh, rats actually did not. However, when it comes to your gut biome, that is going to keep coming back, by the way, mm-hmm. now that people are aware of the gut biome. Um, it destroyed your good bacteria, obliterated it. And it obliterated the female mice far more than the male mice. Yeah. So while the male mice were getting fat and they were losing their good bacteria, bacteria, the female rats were just getting their stomachs destroyed, absolutely obliterated. And that's just from one of the more common, uh, diet sugars. I'd rather just have a little bit of the real sugar. It's like anything else in life. It's moderation. Water. Drink too much water, it fucks you up. Drink not enough water, it fucks you up. Got to drink in the middle. You know what I mean? It's just like that. You should have mm-hmm. some sugar. Like, I'm learning the body actually needs sugar. Mm-hmm. So, but you just have to be, uh, you just have to know what's going on. So, like, we were talking about pizza, right? They put all that sugar in the pizza sauce, and you're eating it on top of sugar, which is, you know, carbs. Yeah. So, sugar on top of sugar with fat. So, Moderation, you know what I mean? Have it once in a while. Don't eat pizza every fucking day all day long. You know, yep. Treat yourself oh. here and there. You know what I mean? There's even now something called sweet pizza. Yeah. or they make, I love it, actually. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people do. It's very yeah. popular. And what people are doing now is they're switching away and they're still doing the sweet sauce, but instead of the crust, they're actually using chicken for the bottom of the crust. So the crust is chicken with the pizza sauce and stuff on it. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't yeah. tried it yet, but I really want to. I have that a friend. Good. My friend Eddie says it's really, really good. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah, so it's like a it's like a crispy chicken crust. Oh, I would try that now. Let's do that. Speaking of chicken, also I found sugar in my frozen breaded chicken. That, that makes that sense because well, of the breading. Yeah. yeah, so there's sugar. They literally put sugar in that. They put uh they put it in my nuts. I had uh uh all right, come on. I'm waiting for it. Come on. I'm waiting for it. Here it comes. These nuts? I'm waiting for it. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. <laughs> I love how Frank immediately. I didn't even. I didn't even make eye contact contact with the guy. No, he literally just he. The I, second I he said that they coming. put sugar in my nuts, Frank went, looked right at me. I'm like, not even. I fucking knew it was coming. Not even I fucking knew doing this. Was. But no, for real though, there's so serious. This is a serious <laughs> topic, people. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> All right, nuts. Sorry. <laughs> no, but seriously, there's, there's they're, uh, basic salt and pepper cashews. Yeah. And oh, they put pepper. sugar in it to, to get you addicted because they know how the brain works. And these are name brand. These are name brand. Obviously, I'm not going to say the name. I crave coffee. I've been craving coffee hard. Well, I stopped drinking caffeine again. But I, when I started drinking caffeine again <clears throat> just a couple months ago, I'm like, yeah, I'll have a coffee. And I started, then once I had that coffee, I'm like, man, I'm really even a coffee now. Nice. I think I want to go out and get a coffee today after the gym. So, so how do you? So, uh, you know I mean, so it's like, how do you deal with your addiction to nuts? There. <laughs> he just he just, <laughs> he just leaves them on his chin like you do. <laughs> uh, fuck off, Frank. <laughs> no, but before we can get to how to actually fix addiction to sugar, we got to get through a few more things. Speed right past that one. <laughs> I am. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dealing with that. I'm moving on. Moving on. All right. Yep. All right. So let's go to hormonal response. So gremlin is is like ex girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to feed them, right? Don't think. <laughs> <laughs> is that a gremlin? I thought that was a. Is it a gremlin? I think it's a gremlin. Yeah, yeah it is a gremlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it them. is. Yeah. Can't feed them, right? Is that what it is? Oh, is it, I or thought is it, it was can't like, get them wet. No, I was going to get them wet. I, or, think, I don't know what it is. Don't feed them after feed midnight. Them. thought it was don't feed after them. After midnight. Yeah. I'm fucking lost. I'm I don't know. After what was, there was one you don't get wet. 
But they were Furbies or no? I was going to say Furby. Uh, what the hell is a Furby? I don't know that there was one. Oh, I had a Furby. Them. Yeah, you don't they're, get them one. Like, I don't know if they're things anymore. <laughs> they are. They just re- they came back like five years ago. Really? They were, just, they were just in that movie that I was talking about earlier. That, yeah. that cartoon movie or whatever. Oh, were they? Yeah. It Furbies were? I don't ever yeah. remember that. Because they were all held up by the chip, and they went into the toy store, and then they all went, Furby, Furby. Huh. And then they were jumping on them and shit. They should bring the Gorgonites back. Whoa! What are you talking about? That big chick that Whoa. talks with all the other kids? <laughs> no, not that, that one. That oh, gargoyle? Gargoyle? No. Gor- 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 Gorgonite. No. no, Gorgonite is what we just said. Gorgon. Gorgon. Yeah, that's what is it is. Is that a Gorgon? Gorgon. Yeah. Okay. Or Gorgon, Gorgon, Gorgon the Destroyer. I want. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgon, Gorgon. I want. yeah. <laughs> Or like looks like a big thing for you. Uh, not the biggest, but the, I mean they play a big part. Well, with that being said, you could take off your blindfold. Oh hell no! Give me the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, anyways, gremlin. It's the hormone that makes us hungry. Uh, so when we eat, it drops it down. Gremlin goes down. When we um, when we fast for a certain period of time, it starts going up, and it says, "Hey, you're hungry." Okay. So that's what that is. Now, uh, depending on the amount of blood glucose you have, it will knock it down or it'll only keep it a little bit down. It depends. It goes up and down with uh, what you're eating, depending on what you're eating. After you eat your sugar, right, your blood glucose goes, uh, it starts breaking down into glucose, but then your pancreas, oh, no, wait, hold on. Yeah, your pancreas releases the insulin to kind of cap how much sugar can go to your brain and your neurons and your your uh, your your uh, spine and everything like that, mm-hmm. your CNS. So that way, because you, if you have too much glucose, you can actually kill the cells and they don't regenerate there. Yeah. So once they're dead, they're dead. So insulin's important in capping how much glucose is going there. Yeah. And that's important because, uh. Because when we get to fructose, you're going to need to understand that. <laughs> All right, let's get to fructose, I guess. So fructose, another sugar. Now, this is also high fructose corn syrup yep, and all that yep. stuff. Yep. Fructose is the sugar that comes from fruits. We all know that. Um, they do more chemical processes than that, though. I mean, yeah. if it was just yeah. sugar from fruits, it would be a lot healthier than it is. Right. There's, there's, uh, yeah, there's, there's different ways of actually making it, so... Might not even be coming from your right. fruit. Right. And, um, and fruit sugar is different than normal sugar, right? Completely. It, it, it affects the body differently. The body changes it differently. It doesn't hit the body as hard as normal sugar. So stuff like that, right? Fruit? You mean like literal fruit? No, like literal fruit. Like no, it's a banana. the same thing as fructose and food. Oh, it is? It's the same exact chemical compound. Okay. There's no difference. But the difference comes in the fact that it's high fiber when you're eating fruit. Well, yeah, and that skin. offsets this, this, it. the skins on the fiber on the outside is yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, so. this, uh, I would think that the chemical process, the making the syrup per se, they have to do more to it for it that to be. Yeah, it's I'm, actually I'm, the same exact thing. Really? Yeah, fructose is poison, basically. Wow, it's it's basically poison. Now, in your fruits, it's okay because the fiber's there, and it actually mitigates the fructose, and it actually feeds your gut biome. It feeds the bacteria yeah, in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's fiber actually does, a good yeah. thing from fruit. So. Fruit is okay. <laughs> Not that I doubted that, but you hear about no, fructose and it's like, eh. Yeah. You know. I do fiber supplements daily anyways. I, I take good. because I have IBS. So good, you yeah. need a lot of fiber, especially. And there's a difference between fiber and soluble fiber. You need both, right? Mm-hmm. So Very um, different. Yeah, yeah. But that's, um, that's, that's something. I would think it would be a total different chemical process because like high fructose corn syrup to me is like, no, no, no. I didn't think that was just really just squeeze juice from a fruit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was thinking like the syrup contents or the yep. chemical composition or the chemical process to make the syrup from the fruit. Fructose is what makes it bad because man is touching it in a chemical way. Nope. Not that it's just like, all right, well, if you squeeze out, you know, apple juice yeah. or you squeeze out, you know, whatever Orange fruit juice, juice you, you choose, kiwi, whatever, and you drink that, Pretty much the same thing. So, like juicing, then is probably a no-no unless you include your juice is basically soda. That's Orange it. juice, apple juice. You're giving your kids soda. Yeah, because of the amount of sugar in there. Yeah, and you're there's no fiber soda. in there. And there's yeah. no, no fiber. fiber. It's just straight, unadulterated sugar. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if you're how many oranges would you have to eat to get 100 grams of sugar? How many oranges? Right. Is orange juice? Yeah. How many? 
tiny. How many would you have to squeeze just to get oh, just to get a yeah. just to get a full cup of it's orange true, juice? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, like eating ten oranges. Like you're that. What the hell's the point? Your yeah. body doesn't do that, man. You yeah. need to sit there and eat oranges yeah. all day to get a cup of orange juice. Yep. Yeah. Your that's body true. can't handle that. Yeah, that's true. Hey, hey, hey. And I, I, I mean, I hate I to come after that. big juice, but uh. I, Big juice. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's good. That's good though. You know about that, the Simply Company? They're they're getting smoked right now. Coca Cola and Simply or whatever. Oh, Simply they? Orange or Simply whatever. They're getting smoked yeah. because supposedly there's carcinogens in there. Sure is. So, of course there is. And I, that was my favorite orange juice. I love that orange juice. I'd always get it when I, I get, get it too. chicken breakfast. Wait, sandwiches. is that like the fifty fifty one? Did, you remember the fifty fifty diet orange juice? No, it was actually really good for no. it being a diet orange juice. No, yeah, no, this is just a so like the better a if you get orange juice with really pulp nice. in it. No, I don't like pulp. Well, yes, because there's fiber. There's fiber. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I, I mean. Think. Juice is just so if you're a juice, juice, juice off the table, period. Yeah. Right. There's no, there's no point. No for benefits. It. No benefits. Unless you juice your own juice and you leave the peel <laughs> in with it, right? Except for diabetes, you sometimes need juice to spike that sugar when you don't have enough. Yeah. I've had to use that with my grandmother. So oh, there is like some, going into a diabetic yeah, coma. You yeah, need sugar I mean, to kick you up. Yeah. yeah, we've always we always had orange juice in the fridge. Yeah. Hey, glycemic. Oh yeah, that comes from these. Uh, that comes from these too. Yeah, from the Bart, sugars. Mall cup. Yep. You ever watch that? Yep. What about um? So then this all causes insulin <laughs> resistance, then, right? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. So so your 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 body creates the uh uh. So when you eat these artificial sweeteners. Mm. This is pretty obvious, but I'm going to say it anyways. When you eat these artificial sweeteners, your body, so when it hits your tongue, there was a study done where it hits your tongue, your body's already creating stuff to break down the sugar in your gut. Okay? It's all connected. Think about yeah. that. It's well, all yeah. connected. Yeah, yeah. So when you eat these zero-calorie, no-benefit sugars, there's nothing there for them to break down. So it's saying glucose, 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 go get it, go get it, go get there it. There is none. There's nothing there. So what happens with that wasted... With that wasted stuff, then. Then your body starts not. Um, then your body starts oversending. What was it? Oversending the cells there, and then you eventually build up an inability to properly absorb it because there's so many mixed signals going on in your body. So your body's like, "Wait, this is sugar? I don't. I don't think it is because last time there was nothing in there." And then it goes in there, and then there was sugar, but then it gets passed through because your body was like, well, there was nothing in there last time. You know what I mean? So you're building Holy up fuck. this resistance where your body's wow. like, no, I'm not. It's not happening. Wow. Now. That's scary. That's fruit, scary. So that's insulin resist, but that's, that's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, fructose gets worse. Worse. Much worse. So first of all, your body does not need fructose at all. Your, your, your body doesn't need it. It doesn't need it at all. It doesn't use it. It doesn't need to use it. It has no purpose. Now, from fruits, there's all that fiber. You feed your gut yeah. with the fructose and the fiber and mitigating yeah, each yeah. other. It goes into your gut and feeds the microbiome. But straight fructose. No use for it. No use. No use. Now, what fructose does do, fructose. Fructose? Fructose. Yeah. Fructose. <laughs> So many people say it different ways. Potato, potato. Fructose. Potato, potato. Fructose. Fructose. I think that's the proper way to say it, actually. I don't think it's fructose. I think it's fructose. What the fructose? <laughs> I think that's the actual proper way to say it. What the French toast? Do you ever see those commercials? Yes. No. What are you calling a cootie queen? You lit liquor. You know oh, what I'm saying? Dirty mouth. mouth. Yeah, yeah. Clean it up with that gum. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Orbit. Yeah, 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 I, I was yeah. gonna. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow, we're not bashing them. <laughs> I know. I was just saying. Man. I just didn't know if you want to. <laughs> facts are facts. Free, what they have in their ingredients is what they're. Yeah, we're not bashing publicity. anybody. We're just talking about normal. I want them to pay us and... to say their name. Are you even a company yet? Oh, oh, they're owned by Wrigley. Oh, they're yeah. definitely a company. Yeah. Yo, Wrigley is like big farm. Is like big gum. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> big gum. <laughs> big gum is Wrigley. They own like everything. <laughs> That's what we just call it. I'm just going to put big in front of everything. everything. <laughs> big Wrigley gum. Big big Wrigley. Uh, the big gum. They're company. big gum. They're the big, big gum. gum. Big gum. Gotta take down big gum. <laughs> Little teeth, big gum. Although, <laughs> although. Not a good tooth to gum ratio. Is <laughs> <laughs> that a chiclet? You look at their ingredients, and they definitely are big gum. Anyways. And we're big dumb. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
So fructose oh, yeah. inhibits three different enzymes necessary for mitochondrial function. Let me break that down for you and set it because I had to break it down. That's like right before photosynthesis, right? <laughs> no, not in plants. <laughs> not in plants. I, I, I seen where you were going there, actually. But no, this isn't Just the plants that one. In there, right? <laughs> mitochondria photosynthesis. What? <laughs> so mitochondria are special compartments in our cells that are best known for their role as powerhouses as they break down food molecules, turning it into ATP or like energy for the cells. Um, however, with fructose, those enzymes that help make the currency that gives the cells the energy gets disrupted. And here's the three that get disrupted. AMP kinase. Uh, AMPK is what it's called, uh, abbreviated to. This one regulates metabolism. It increases fat burning and increases the utilization of glucose while blocking fat and cholesterol synthesis. Insulin resistance. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. So, right there's more insulin resistance. Wow. When it attacks these enzymes uh, for the mitochondria. Then we have acyl, uh, uh, acyl coa dehydrogenasis. Well, God bless you. It's abbreviated <laughs> ACAD. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with ACAD. That makes sense. That's easier. Yeah. <laughs> this causes impaired fatty acid breakdown. So, it messes up your liver. Wow. You get fatty acids in your liver for fructose. Does that cause a fatty liver then? Yeah. Fatty? Oh, my goodness. I yeah. just saw something about that. What the, the hell? Um, what also, the... metabolic disorders, which is basically cell problems, hypoglycemia, um, diabetes, obesity, uh, fatty liver. We already got that. Yeah. I don't um, know why we have an obese country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 68 so okay i gotta get back to this this is crazy yeah, we'll let me let me get let me get through this last one and then i'll give you that stat so uh carnitine palma one uh <laughs> <laughs> try to say that three times fast <laughs> it's abbreviated it reminds me of uh, it reminds me of bruce almighty when oh, he, no, 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 backstabber no. Baxt baxter is he's like <laughs> 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 one so one. yeah hey what do you want to name this one uh one i was like our president one. <laughs> <laughs> That sounded more intelligent than our president. <laughs> I'm not. I'm yeah, not. I mean, one in it. Yeah, because I have one. <laughs> Come on, so, man. Come on, man. So with this enzyme, it causes, uh, let's skip all that boring stuff. It causes problems like hypoglycemia, muscle weakness, and liver problems again. Muscle weakness was interesting. Yeah. I didn't know so that. So it's not my fault. It's the food I'm eating. <laughs> It is. That's always how it is. Abs are made in the kitchen. Everything else is made in the kitchen, brother. Yeah, I need to come up with a so with a with a with a. I don't you know, have plan. everything written down here, but calories in, calories out is now not a thing. Really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to explain. This. <laughs> yeah, definitely explain that. Okay, so, uh, certain calories like this, right? So. When you, when you hear what a calorie's energy density is, they're literally just throwing that into fire and burning it. And they're yeah. saying, okay, that's, that's how, what it takes to burn. Okay. Oh. So that's literally how they get the figures for what calories kind of are. Okay. So that's kind of like the basic dumbed down version of what it is. Yeah. So anyways, with that, with that being said, where was I? Fuck. We were talking about units of heat. Yes. Oh, they're, yeah. They're 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 yeah. For calories. Calories. So, so <laughs> here's an interesting one. Uh, an 800 calorie, or yeah, let's go with a thousand calorie steak. Like seven percent of that, you might not actually get those calories. Here's why. Here's why. When you eat it, and you eat like an excess of protein. Which you know we all work we out all, here. We Occasionally, we eat too much protein. Every, and everybody our eats can too handle. much protein. Yeah. yeah. Even people that don't work out eat too much protein. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't know what serving sizes are for six ounces of protein. But go ahead. Here's the thing. Your body has to break that down. Right? I don't yeah. have the stuff in front of me. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going off of memory with this one. But 
uh, your body has to break that down. And here's where it gets crazy. The things it breaks it down into, it takes twice the amount of energy per calorie. Oh. After you've absorbed the amount you can absorb. Calories in, not calories out. Wow. Now, fructose, obviously, and stuff like that is proving calories in, calories out. Not always because it makes you insulin resistant and starts storing stuff where it shouldn't be and screwing things up and sending things to the wrong places and destroying your body. Yeah. Storing fatty acids in your liver, which doesn't take much to screw your liver up. So you got to do twice Half the work? Pound, I think. So is that what you're saying now? Yeah. You your body to do has to do twice, twice the work to break down the same amount of stuff that it would yeah. after so in- the threshold of that you right. that your body could absorb. Yeah. So Wow. Yeah. So instead of for every one calorie, you're actually burning two. So how accurate is so how accurate is my fitness pal then? Oh, it's not. Exactly. No, it's not. Exactly. It's not. So imagine, imagine like when I did keto, I ate just like meat. I was just meat, 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 meat. Yeah. Meat, meat. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was regular old road runner. <laughs> I can't imagine how much I was actually not in taking in. Because yeah. it was just straight up like protein constantly. Because your body does convert it and use it for other things. It just takes more energy to do that. Yeah. 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 And then... Uh, People don't realize it takes energy to convert cold water to warm water when you drink it. So when you drink cold water, your body actually uses more calories to convert that over to warm water before you can do everything with it. Than you, if you have drink you warm guys water. been seeing all these uh, like cold plunges that everybody keeps doing in the morning? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. What the, uh, I looked I, into I, that I, a little I, bit. I, can, I, I looked in that a lot. I could, I'll could. i give you information. Oh, you did look into yeah. it a lot. Yeah. That's a, that's a different conversation. Sorry. No, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about st- that. Yeah, we'll yeah. stick to this. Sorry. I know. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. You just brought um, up cold water. That made me think of that. All funny. right. So those are three things that it attacks and destroys in your body. Here's the thing. It's not a super <laughs> toxic thing. It doesn't. It's not. Right, but it's not like uh, smoking. It's not like it, it's kind of like alcohol, actually, um, where it takes years, like ten years, as I believe what they said, ten years for this to start showing up in your body for the diabetes, oh, for the shit. insulin resistance. Yeah. Okay, it takes. It's a long time. So nobody's thinking about it when you're eating your ho hos and your ding dongs. Looking at you, Brian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> more of the ho ho kind of guy. He's the ding dong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no, sir. I hung out with a lot of hoes in my day. I bet you did. Yeah, ding dong. I did not. <laughs> I worked at a gentleman's club. I mean, yeah. Come on. Of course, there's yeah. some kind of hoes in the gentleman's club. Not your all. Your ho hos and your ding dongs. Yeah. <laughs> They're the same thing. Like, you could have said anything else in the world. You used... Are they the same thing? Yeah. Aren't I was they? Just using it because it, it was the first thing? things that popped in my head from another Winkies. speech. Ho hos are like the little chocolate, and so are ding dongs. They're pretty much the same thing, ain't they? I don't know. I've never had a ding dong in my mouth. Yeah, I bet you. <laughs> have. Yeah, yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody out there believes that for a second. Frank. <laughs> Not a tasty cake kind of guy, if you know yeah. what I'm saying. All right. So another thing with high fructose corn syrup. So we we we've established this could be like ten years down the road. This starts really showing up in your life. Yep. Right. Uh, the other, and the, the thing that gets like that, the reason, so you can buy high fructose corn syrup in barrels, right? I mean, it just comes in, everybody uses it in the manufacturer. It's easy to use. Yep. You know what I mean? This is in your chewy cookies. This is, it's everywhere. Look at your labels. I have three labels down here that have it in it. Yep. It's everywhere. Yep. The, the reason is, so like sugar has like one part per one. I'm, this is totally example. Okay, I didn't actually write this down either. I should have. Uh, this is just an example. Like sugar has one part of sugar equals one part of sweetness taste. Okay. <laughs> and then you start going down like uh, uh, like the diet sweeteners and stuff. Some of these diet sweeteners, it's like one gram of that is equal to like a thousand taste in your mouth. Ugh. So they have to use, they can use less. Say they're whole grain. So they're for ROI, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I have an organic one down here. USDA organic with more sugar. I think it was five sugars in it. Wow. Five sugars spread out so that they could have grains in the front. <laughs> it's organic. <laughs> wow. I mean, That's I, like I, still, I still read all my labels for organic. Organic, just because I see organic doesn't that? mean I'm going to. Organic's bulk. Actually, there is one organic that is good. Uh, if you see in the ingredients organic natural flavors, 
That is a loophole that you cannot, that's not a loophole. Like you actually have to go through the USDA and show them every single thing you do with it uh, in order for it to be considered USDA organic natural flavors. Like it, it can't vary. It can't have sweeteners. It can't have anything. So that is a difference when it comes to natural flavors. I uh, just wanted to say that and point that nice. out because that, really, that's, that shouldn't I, be villainized. I really want to look that. into now, like, yeah, what is <laughs> no, what no. is probably nowhere on any U.S. shelf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, so 68, I'm sorry. Frank, You're good, don't worry about it. Um, 68 to 75% of food has added sugars in the U.S. But on the cereal aisle. Oh, cereal is a joke. Oh. oh, my God. So I did, and there was this one that I love that's supposed to be healthy and fiberful and doesn't have the super sweet taste. Turn around, sucralose. Oh, I man. said, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, what? It's a healthy brand. Well. well the you, high fiber cereal. Did you see that they're putting, they're starting mm -hmm. to put maltodextrin in more things? I have a couple of things here. You know how? Maltodextrin's. Vicious. It's worse than sugar. Yeah. Mal maltodextrin on the glycemic index is higher than fucking sugar. Yes. It's like, so like maltodextrin is good at certain times. Like for an insulin spike post workout, awesome carb. Post workout mm. carb, mm -hmm. awesome post workout mm -hmm. carb. A carb you should be eating any other time during the day? Probably not. Yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go near it because there's no use for it. It yeah. causes a, a monster insulin spike more than sugar. There's no need for it. So if you're going to use it, for what it's worth, you know what I mean? And it's worth post-workout carbs, but dextrose, maltodextrin, both mm -hmm. higher than sugar, both good for a post-workout carb, cause an insulin spike when you need it to get that glucose, or, you know, back into the muscle or the glycogen back into the muscle. Glycogen, yeah. No other time. Um, no other time. No. No other time. No. Uh, as a matter of fact, only 7 to 10% of your diet a day should have some sort of, like, kind of added sugar. Mm -hmm. Good luck with that. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Bro. No. You'd have to make everything from scratch, man. Yes. You'd have to grow your own food and yep. fucking all that shit. Yep. All of it. Yep. So which, I guess, which they want to start taxing home gardens. Do you see that? Yeah. Yes. So. If you have a home garden, they want to start taxing you for it. Well, they need to tax that, that proposed. So they give... I don't know if that if that ever got passed. Or... Well, well, obviously, it didn't get passed yet. But well, they need to pass they, that they because that they just gave uh, health care, free health care to illegal immigrants in California. Wow. Newsom did that. Oh, I seen one where are you guys doing? I seen one California. where Biden gave twenty five million for scooter chargers in New York. Oh my god! Did you god. see? What? They spent a hundred and like nineteen thousand dollars on a metal replica of Thanos to see if it could snap its fingers. Government did that. What? It's ridiculous. Our they government away is with. such horseshit. Well, there's so many loopholes you could get, like the the shoelace guy. Because they put six thousand pages. In there, and they just put little shit in there that you can't find. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's going to be able to read it in three days. Yeah. I think, I mean, the reason we pay so much in taxes is because of the overhead that we have. Why do we need to have this many people in there for after 65? And yeah, why do we need so many people? Why is government such a big entity? You know I mean, but we'll have to talk about that another time. We're on sugar. Sugar <laughs> deals with government. Of course it does. It's a big business and manufacturer, yep. you know, and government and big business are together. 100 percent. Well, I mean, look at this whole Epstein thing, right? Morgan Chase was proven to fund the shit, knew about the shit, mm. let it go. Why aren't we telling Morgan Chase, "Whoa, you're a scumbag. Yeah. Well, you, right. you need to pay to get out of yeah, it." But here's another right. thing. Here's another thing, though. Like, think about it. We have companies that are so large and make so much money that when the government does go after them and hit them, it's not a big deal. For instance, um, yeah, Pfizer. True. Pfizer is the number one. Pfizer had the biggest True. payout, the biggest payout, criminal payout, because they were manipulating doctors and everything like that years ago. Biggest payout they ever had to do. It was because, for a different drug, too. Yeah, for a different yeah. drug. It wasn't even vaxxed or nothing no. like that. And then they paid that out. They look good in the eyes for the next year. And now they just came in and pushed a vaccine that is proven not to work that well. They, they pushed it and they made buku bucks, buku bucks. Yeah. And even if we could go after them, which we can't because there's a law to protect them, which mm -hmm. is why would you need a law to protect you if it works? But 
even if we were able to go after them, they made so much money that they would just pay the little fine like they did last time. And it, and it was a couple billion. It was a billion dollars. It was the biggest one in history. It was the I biggest one in that. history. Yeah. But it was only a couple dollars to them because they make so much fucking money. Right. And they have the government inside with them. The NIH is part of it. Every government person is inside of it. Oh, is the it's NIH fucking, involved with it? Never thought. Oh. The Wuhan stuff and the NIH like and the Fauci NIH. that looks like ALF. That guy Aww. that just came out and said that the distancing thing wasn't even really a science thing. It was a thing that he thought of. How about that? Uh-huh. Aww. Give me a fucking break. I like the NIH. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that sucks. Was, they have who, a lot of good studies. Fauci funded, or Fauci was head of the NIH. Was he? He was. I thought he was. Oh, my God. I, got that? I might have that wrong. Oh, my People are gonna bitch at me. God. That is horrifying. But he was included in the NIH, and uh, NIH had a lot to do with that Wuhan shit <laughs> over in China. Yeah. So. Damn, that sucks. That sucks. Did you notice <laughs> that they're not even testing for COVID that much anymore, though? Why is COVID, like, just a... Yep. Gone. It's just gone. Because the... Well, the election is coming, so it's coming back now. They still do. do they? Yeah. They don't test me. They Weird. COVID, my COVID's making a comeback right now. A lot of people already. are starting to get it again. You know about the measles? Because you know the election's measles stuff? coming up, too. You know about so. the measles stuff? No, what's that? What? Huge issue of measles. I thought we couldn't, Fill it off, I thought we couldn't get that in a Huge. Huge. Are we get vaccinated Everywhere. for that? Yeah, we're supposed to get yeah, well, vaccinated well, for Some people don't get vaccinated for it, and they're blaming it on the people that aren't vaccinated. But what just came into the country that aren't vaccinated? Oh, Jesus. Nobody's putting that one together. Oh, there's a huge measles outbreak in these cities that are democratic that bring immigrants in. What, 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 what? They came from other countries and they're not vaccinated. And now we have things that we haven't seen before being outbreaks. No, that doesn't make sense at all. That would never happen. Wow. That's, that's fucked. Frank. That's, that's sad, man. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is going to have you assassinated. I'm telling this you. Is bad. Keep it up. <laughs> Does she even know how to spell that? I don't think so. I'm worried about the other people They're that know how back to spell it. The three know, know how to spell D R O N E drone. Come kill me with the drones. I'm waiting for that shit to happen. I'm not suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not suicidal. I, I do enjoy I'm my going life. Going to kill myself. I love my life. I'm not. I do this stuff to help others. I'm not suicidal. Fuck. If I die, I didn't kill myself. Just so you know. I did not Epstein myself. I did not Epstein. Epstein. Epstein didn't call himself. Yes. All right, do we want to go fasting or do we want to go glycemic index? Which one should we go to next? Oh, uh, let's, let's keep let's fasting. Fasting for, well, fasting I, I, for I, last. Fasting for last, I like because I love fasting. It's like my life. Okay, it's it's got a cherry on top, but it's it's a sour pie. Fuck! Did I just make that saying up? You did. I never heard that. You're before. my <laughs> okay. sour pie. Anyways. Don't talk about fasting because you break my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you say I? Yes. Uh, he said make oh, me cry. I. Interesting. It's part of the study. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> It'd be, be perfect just to roll right into that now, but Okay, so uh, so they did a study on eyes with fasting. I'm just going to do this cuz then it makes everything m- more clean in the end. Anyways, they, in 2021, there's a recent one. There's a recent study. Uh they did a study where so there's certain neurons that fire when you look at something in your eye, okay? So the test was they had a vertical line, right? And they were scanning your brain, and they seen which neurons fired for the vertical line. Then you put the line horizontal, and different neurons fire, okay? okay? Wow. So it's different. And then they put it at a 45, and different neurons fired again, okay? Then they started playing with that vertical line. They'd move it 10% to the right. And the ones that fired for the vertical one still fired, not as great. Then they did like 20 and it wasn't firing. It wasn't firing. Then it was different ones. It started changing. This was during a fed state, okay? Then they gave them a high glucose fed state, right? And then that straight line, bam, neurons fired right away, okay? Slight 10 degrees. Neurons were firing, not as much, but they were firing on it. And then everything after that, they weren't really giving a poop about <clears throat> then what they did is they fasted them, fasted the study participants, and they set up the vertical line. They didn't really fire as well, but they were firing. We're firing absolutely on perfectly fine. Then they went 10 degrees. They're firing almost the same. 20 degrees, almost the same. 30 degrees, almost the same. Now, it sounds like it might be a good thing. It sounds like, oh, so, you know, you're getting more range from your neurons. No, 
What that's saying is it's not being able to recognize lines as well. Oh. Mm. It's the opposite from a fasta state because of the lack of glucose going to the neurons. Mm. Weird. That's yeah, weird. it's weird. Weird. I've never, I don't hear many negative things about fasting. However, when you think about it, that is one. It makes sense because your felt cells all use it. Yeah, but when you think, when I do most of my fasting sleeping, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, yeah. now I do notice that I. I mean, when I'm fasted, I do notice that then when I eat, I have like a boost of energy, mm-hmm. and, and I, yeah. I think things are a little more clear to me. Yeah, but um, that's, if I fast longer, like if I do a 22 hour fast or a 24 hour fast, then I start feeling a little weird. Yeah. Um, but 16 hours, I don't feel that bad. I might drop it down though and get more food in, to be honest with you. Yeah. So, so there is benefits to fasting. We all yeah, know yeah. there is. But that's the first negative I heard. That's one of the negatives. Your cells are not fed, they're starving, which is actually yeah, good for one, one situation, which yeah. is fatty liver. Yep. Yeah. Fasting destroys fatty liver. And cancer. And cancer. cancer. Yes. Their, their cancer patients have been doing uh, five day it. fasts. They're yeah. allowed f- 500, 500 calories. Mm-hmm. So now listen, it's not a total fast that you're only allowed to have water. Right? Okay. So five day fast, 500 grams of cal- or 500 calories a day of protein and fiber. No sugar. It's fiber and protein. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. How do you five find days. just fiber and just mm-hmm. protein? Well, you eat foods you don't want to. You eat foods, you yeah. eat bland shit, bro. Yeah. You yeah. eat a bland diet. You yeah. Know? yeah, but if we've even bland shit, now we've learned like yeah, a lot of it's still well, it's, like, yeah, yeah. it's like chicken from a local farm. Yeah. Yeah. That's really what it is. It's your it's your uh your local farm what are they called? The thing that we have down the, the dirt mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it has oh, like yeah, all yeah, the yeah. fresh dirt fruits mall. and stuff. Well, we have a I, lot I hate a dirt mall for us guys. Is yeah. an auction. auction with a bunch of people it's because the floors stuff. are the floors yeah. are dirt. They they don't pave the floors or nothing. Exactly. Right. So we call it the dirt mall. <laughs> yeah, it's a so mall that, that's dirt. A little jargon from our area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean that, that makes sense though. Everything you know, you have less energy in your body because you have less fuel, right? Yeah. So I mean that makes sense. And it takes a while for ketosis to actually happen. Yeah, I think when I did keto i've done keto a few times i think it takes like a week or two before your body starts really switching yep. fats to energy yep. mm-hmm. and the amount that they have to do that in is is very fat burning which makes calories in calories out actually false there as yep. well mm-hmm. the problem yeah but the thing that always worried me about ketosis and i never did it is because i know that the body goes through other levels before it hits your fat and one of those levels is muscle so I was always scared to do ketosis because I'm like, well, I don't want to eat my muscle to get the fat. I'd rather just keep my muscle and burn my fat. By the way, it 100% does eat your muscles. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's just how it works. I mean, even with fasting, I've noticed that my CK1 values are up a little bit. Um, I'm not getting as much protein in that I should be because I have a less block of time and your body can only absorb so much protein per two hours, mm-hmm. right? So yeah. If I only eat eight hours a day, that means I'm four meals in, right? I'm allowed four meals every two hours, and 40 grams of protein per meal is 160 grams of protein. Mm. It's not mm. enough. It's not enough. Oh, for my me. God, I need, Frank. I need, like, 225. You need a lot. I need a lot. Yeah. Like you 225, need, yeah. 240. Holy shit. Yeah. So what I'm going to start doing is I do 16 by 8. Now I'm going to throttle it back. I'm going to do 14 by 10. Oh. And then I'm going to get another meal in. So that next meal will get me up to 200 grams. There you so go. that's kind of what I'm doing. It's all a learning curve for everybody. Like yeah. not everybody's going to need 200 grams of protein. Oh, not everybody true. works out like I work out. True. If you don't work out, you don't need as much protein. Yeah, yeah. You it's don't. just how it is. Yeah. So you don't need, you know, maybe fasting, if you're more of a person that doesn't work out, fasting would be great for you then. Because if you only need 100, you know, 120 grams of protein for the day, because you should be doing around like what, six... 0.6 grams of protein per lean pound of body weight if you don't work out, or 0.5, or something like that. Like 70% to retain. Is it 70% to retain? Yeah. So like 0.73. Of your, of, your, of your, what is that, net weight? Your, 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 your not net weight. What am um, I trying to say? Gross weight. Lean, gross lean, your lean weight. Yeah. Your lean, lean weight, weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 70% of your yeah, lean weight Yeah, I do weight about a gram. I do a gram. I do a gram. I try to do a gram of lean, lean body weight. I'm right. like 275. So I'm like maybe 245, 250 shredded. So yeah. Uh, I do like, try to do that. <laughs> you, just take your, you just take your your BMI, right? Your and then you your body mass index. Yeah, what, you so take like, you take your fat uh, percentage off of your yes. yeah, yeah, off yeah, of yeah, your yeah. gross weight, yeah. and then you 
that yep, yep. will give you your lean weight. Yep, your lean weight. Exactly, yeah. and yeah. that's what the seventy percent. Right, that's what I just wanted to explain it so, so everybody understood yeah. what we were talking about. Yeah, sorry. It's yeah. so important. Like I think fasting. I'm not convinced for it, but I get it, I get it for fatty liver acids or fatty liver, and I get it for weight loss. However, if you're old, maybe not, because the first thing your body does when it's not getting glucose is it goes straight into your muscles, yeah. Yeah. and it starts ripping shit out of your muscles. What's the number one injury of elderly? Falling. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's uh, uh, osteoporosis. It's, 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 it's um, okay, that's probably not true. But one of the main <laughs> issues well, is when it. you oh, fall, right. you don't have muscle to hold you. Yeah. That extra five pounds of muscle might have saved you from breaking yeah. your hip. Yep. Well, I mean, even yeah. when I fast, I'm smart about it. I take branch chain amino acids to protect mm. me and stuff like that in the morning, especially when I'm working out. So you got to be smart about it. Like, mm. you can't just not eat forever. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean, And I would never, I would never do like a crazy long fast and then work out. You know what oh I'm saying? Oh, God, don't do you that. You just can't do it. You'll just eat your muscles yeah. alive. Pumps, pumps are crazy, but... Uh, you I just like the pumps muscle. when you get carbs in afterward. Yeah. Or before. And then you hit the weights after a fast. I, I, don't, I don't really... Slam down some OJ. I feel like I feel like I get... Oh, I feel like on. I get... Um, I feel like I, I'm a little more bloat. I feel like I'm a little... I have a little more water on me. Mm. But I don't get a better pump. I get a better pump when I'm dry. I don't know why it's... Really? Funny. Yeah, it's fucking weird. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, my workouts are like less. I'm in there. I mean, I'm not as strong as normal. Like I could tell some. I could tell, man, I need to eat because mm. you know when, you, when yeah. you're doing that much output. Um, but my pumps are like, I do one to two set. I'm like, oh fuck, really it's crazy. Damn. Yeah. Maybe it's also because I do a lot of creatine. Yeah, that so might I'm that might affect creatine. it a lot too. Because I, I get I get pretty puffy. From creatine. Yeah, was, creatine pushes water. In the yeah, muscle. I get puffy. Pretty puffy too. Uh, um, <laughs> but yeah, no fasting helps with with um, maintaining your sugar, your glucose. It does, it does a lot of great stuff. There's yeah. a lot of great stuff. But like I said, the negative of to, to me is it's now affecting me where I'm not getting enough protein in. So now I have to manipulate it, and it's an equation for everybody else. Like I have to think of an equation to change 16 by 8 because I'm not getting enough food in. While other people that don't weigh 270 won't need to do that. Won't need to worry about that. It'll be a little easier for them. They could do the 16 by 8 or whatever yeah. like that. But, you know, you just have to be smart enough to tell yourself, like, all right, I don't have the normal um, fuel for energy uh, right now in my body, so I can't expect the same output that I would normally have if I have fuel in my body. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't go to the gym fasted in the morning thinking that I'm going to have the same output I would have if I go at 6 o'clock at night. Right. There's right. just no way. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just got to be smart about it. Yeah, you got to be smart. You got to understand these things for sure. Your body. Understand your body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So now let's get to, uh, here's an interesting one. In ADHD, they did a study and they found as few as four sugary drinks a week raises your likelihood of having ADHD in kids. What if you have ADHD already? Did it say anything about that? Uh, you have ADHD? Do you? Yeah, I do. Have you noticed our... Yes, Adderall okay. commercials? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I think I, have a, I think I have a touch of it too, but I'm just, I used to, I'm just very highly functioning. I actually so, used to be heavily well, medicated for it. Really? Yeah. What? Adderall? Were you on Adderall? No, I wasn't on Adderall. I was on a uh, popular one. I can't. Oh my God. I'm, the shit pill? No, I was not on the shit pill. Wait, is Adderall the one people pop to get focus? Yeah. That's that one, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Fuck. I can't think of what the hell it's called. I don't even know there was another one other than that. Yeah. I got really sick from it. I really, I was doing good in school. I was doing better in school. I was very focused then. But uh, I was told one day my grandfather looked outside and I was like purple. Like it was really affecting my body. Mm. He's like, I, I was I was just outside playing, running like with friends and I was like purple. So I was manipulating your oxygen level. Yeah. And he said, uh, he mentioned it and then brought it up to the doctor and they were like, yeah, we're going to take him off that. Yeah. And then I'm they sure. Yeah. I've Bro, snorted an Adderall all my life. That was crazy. <laughs> I took, I took what? an Adderall. What is the drug? I Bro, took an Adderall one me? time. <laughs> so, what do you want from I'm honest. I'm honest. I want people to know not to do drugs. Don't right. to do drugs. That's, that's, that's you're right. right. Don't that's be right. a fucking loser so, like I was. Doing I, fucking snorting Adderall. I snorted fucking no-dos in my life. Come on. Don't be a fucking loser. Like, I don't even know what that is. No-dos is the shit they used to like. 
the epinephrine back in the day. Or no, not epinephrine. Yeah. Uh, ephedrine. Do you remember ephedrine? Oh, ephedrine. They used oh, to have no God. dose. They used to have these no dose at the counters of the ga- gas stations that you would take them. They had like a f- super high amounts of ephedrine in them. They keep you. I started them. I've, d- I've done some Bro, crazy shit. In my you, fucking ephedrine. Can, they're, they're just like a twenty five percent death rate from ephedrine. Oh, it's a good time. There's. <laughs> <laughs> Holy God. Yeah, no. I took an Adderall one time. I wasn't prescribed. I had a buddy that was prescribed because he had like slight form of Tourette's. Um, so he, he was like, I had a long drive back from, uh, I was in Indiana mm-hmm. at the, uh, I was working, but then I was on my way back. He's like, here, you know, here's, this will keep you awake if you're on for the ride home. And I was like, I'll keep I you awake not, for like three fucking days. <laughs> what do you mean? So, well, I took it, I took it and I was driving back and like an hour and a half into the drive, I started fucking like sleeping really yeah like had a reverse effect on me i had to pull really? over and fucking sleep Whoa. wow not me man i take that i'm fucking zooming nope maybe i maybe i definitely don't have adhd then because yeah. if That's i take they say. that if you have adhd gone. they have like a huh. reverse effect it they does don't... like coffee coffee should be the reverse effect for you yeah. coffee should not make you speedy at all yeah probably Wait. probably not that's true that is true brother that is oh, true shit. brother yeah yeah that is somebody true. who has adhd that is true uh, if you, if you drink coffee, coffee and you could just like you drink coffee and you get all. If you just have, it makes them tired. <laughs> that's what, that's what's crazy because like I'll drink like even caffeine. Like it's weird. Like it no. doesn't affect me like it does other people. Oh, like, not me, oh god, not me. Not me. My hands get all clammy. My heart starts gone. I start chewing on my mustache. It's a no. mess. I'm like, I <laughs> nope. I built an face. Immu- <laughs> I literally built an immunity to it. I have to drink like a whole like half gallon of coffee before I get to that point. Oh really? Yeah. No, so like, it's like um, <laughs> now. Now that I don't drink coffee How do you much, know that? have you drink? Have yeah, you drank yeah. a whole I half up two days in a row. <laughs> oh my oh, god! I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Because by the third day, I was having panic attacks because I was fucking. My heart was racing. My chest was feeling tight. Yeah. I, I heard. I, could, I passed out so many times. That's so, that's, that's the problem. So the, ca- the caffeine can cause panic attacks. So like since yeah. I stopped drinking caffeine, I went to Duncan and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have a coffee. I haven't had a coffee in a while i'm gonna go large i usually get extra large i'm gonna get large <laughs> worst decision ever i drank that large like oh it's so good it went down so fast next thing you know i'm just like Bing. Uh, like, me, 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 first of all as a mess. very experienced coffee drinker duncan's on some other shit there's Never. some other shit in their coffee I'll tell you what. There is some other. You can't get that from your coffee pot. You can't get that from National Delights <laughs> Coffee. You can't get that from anywhere else. Duncan has some. Like, I know. Coke I know one in place you can get it. Pulling, I know one place. They're putting cocaine in it. There's. I, I swear I to God. I know one. I know one. Where? Death Wish Coffee. Oh, I was always oh, afraid to take my that. Actually, good. I was afraid my There's heart two was of them. I was. Out I was always... probably actually have cocaine. In oh, there. dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. I'll tell you what. At one point in time in my life, I was drinking that shit black. Yeah. Oh my goodness, no! I got to go from that to their second brand is called Valhalla Java. Oh, I've it's seen not that. as strong as the before. Death Wish, but it's I still think... pretty good. Um, but dude, the Death Wish. Isn't there another one? A oh, K- black cu- rifle. One fucking K cup of that Death Wish. Death Wish. Bing. Fucking dude. <laughs> <laughs> Raider man. <laughs> fucking gun. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I do. All right, so let's go back to sugar. Um, the last thing I have here is really how to fight it. How to fight these problems? Cook more stuff from scratch. Like that's. The, I wish we had time. The cook more shit from shot. scratch. I don't. That's the problem. The mom's working. The dad's working. Mm-hmm. There's no longer like stay home moms, mm-hmm. right? And even if they are, society has poisoned them to think they've missed out on some part of their life and they need to go experience it, right? Yeah. Or I mean, even still, even if they're at stay at home moms, then that's only one income, and it's really hard to survive off of one income these days. I mean, mm-hmm. especially now with Bidenomics and oh, I know everything else. So it's oh, like, you know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, thankfully, I'm blessed. My fiance works too, so well, my, we my, both work. My girlfriend works. She's yeah, not. she has a, Oh, Jesus. you son of a bitch! <laughs> What's the things over there? Oh, shit! Oh, no. I'm really That's good fucking there. it up. That's, That's good. Just leave it like that. Good. It looks a little. Yeah, that looks, that looks better. Like that. Looks much more better. All right. So let's get in the glycemic index. Glycemic index. The rate at which blood glucose occurs. Or the absolute value of blood glucose and how it's affected by the food you're eating. I didn't realize it was also, it was like an or thing, and or. I didn't know that. Because I thought it was like, 
Like, see me again next. You eat a sweet potato. It lasts for so many hours, releasing slowly. It's also how fast it comes in and how hard it hits. It's, it's, it's dual-sided. So it's not really a good thing to go by. Yeah. Oh, because wow. ice cream's low on it. Shut the fuck up. What? Because fat, there's so much fat with that sugar. There's so much uh, fat that it yeah, kind of releases slowly. Cream. Yeah, it's all heavy whipping cream. Yeah. So huh. uh, it's kind of hard to like really figure these things out. You have to put two and two together and be like, okay, it it, it may equal four, but they divide it instead of adding to get to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you do have to be careful, but if you do eat low glycemic food that has the right whole type of sugars or is an actual whole food like fruit and vegetables, you can slowly actually trick your brain into craving that. So you do have that that you can do because dopamine's obviously involved with sugar. Yeah. Oh man, we didn't even touch on that. No. Oh. So there's another force which is dopamine. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. The, it's the whole thing. Oh, of, man, that should be pretty obvious, but... Yeah, I mean, hey, dopamine. <laughs> we, 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 we could talk about it. Um, yeah. I mean, it makes sense, though. Like, I'm one of the, I'm an eater. I love food. I've always been a fat kid at heart. You know what I mean? That's why I was 340 pounds there for a little bit. I love food. Mm -hmm. Food makes me feel good. Yeah. It's that whole dopamine receptor thing, right? Oh. Like, if I taste good food, it's going to make me feel good. Now, if I eat healthy food that's bland for a diet to cut up or something like that... Yeah. I'm not going to get the dopamine because it's not going to taste the same. It's not going to be wonderful once it hits my palate. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's going to be bland, peppery, maybe taste like some hot sauce because I fucking load hot sauce and everything when I'm dieting. Um, so, yeah, I could totally see where the dopamine effect is in there and how, yeah. it's, how it's common sense when you think about it. Like, if I eat ice cream, I'm happy as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but if I'm sitting there chewing on green beans, I'm not nearly as fucking happy. Do you know what I mean? So it's... It makes sense. Back to sugar. There's only one other thing I wanted to add here. Uh, and that was with the gremlin and fructose. So fructose also attacks uh, gremlin. It also, the, the, remember this is the thing that says you're hungry? Well, it will let that go. And it won't take it down as hard when you actually ingest high fructose corn. So, well, fructose, period. So your gremlin keeps going up and it keeps saying you're hungry, even though you've already had all the sugar and carbs. Wow. That's another problem with fructose. Yeah. Which could be a way to address if you need more calories and need to eat more. But that could be a good thing. Could be a good thing if you need, if you're like super malnutrished, mm -hmm. uh, malnourished, malnourished, malnourished. I, I yeah, or dog malnourished. nutrition. <laughs> I, I do the slang shit. <laughs> I do that all the time by accident too. I'll be like, "Oh, he's malnutrition, mal malnourished, <laughs> malnutrition, man, malnutrition." Yeah, so That's that might be something to help you there, just for a little bit. I mean, eventually, your body's gonna get fucked up from it, so probably not the best way, but it is a way. Yeah, I. Uh, I mean, I'm just sorry. from the sorry. Wow, from the little bit of research, I don't know why that was happening. I, don't know, I just looked at it. I was like, man, I really want to flip him off. Definitely, pool, definitely right? ADHD, bro. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. See. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, anyways, from the stuff I was doing is like um, the the fructose and stuff. But I've the research I've seen is saying that yeah. it's, it's various risk of cancers, brain, pancreatic, oral, prostate cancers. There's so many really? cancers tied to the... Oh, wow. Holy fucking ADHD, bro. Sorry, I just remembered. That's what I was on. I, 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 so I think you need some, bro. Some, <laughs> don't drink a coffee or something. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Take a guy sitting in the fetal position, suck on his arm, sleep. What the fuck? <laughs> Why are we drinking coffee? It was Ritalin. That was what I was on. That makes sense. I remember oh, Ritalin. Yeah. yeah. I remember Ritalin. Ritalin. That shit was intense. Holy fuck. That just like came, it hit my head. At the, I Sorry. I forgot Frank, Ritalin was a thing. You can finish your... Sorry, yeah, Frank. Well, no worries. No worries. I'm used to the ADHD. I've been in this podcast <laughs> right. for a while now. That's um, Ritalin. <laughs> not ADHD. Uh, but no, it's, it's, it's like anything else in moderation. I personally won't go after after it. Like, I, I would, I'd rather just eat fruit. You know what I mean? I'm, I like mm. fruit. Even frozen shit. I'll get yeah. frozen fruit. I'll buy frozen fruit and just stick pieces of frozen fruit in my mouth and let them... Like a, like a dessert. You know what I mean? Like a little popsicle or something like that. I would rather do that than... 
take this bullshit that they're giving us, like the fructose corn syrup and yeah, stuff like right. that. You know what I mean? Like, well, that, that, the problem is, though, you need glucose, so. Yeah. You need, yeah. You need, or, get it, get you it need from real fruit, regular though. Regular sugar. Real right. fruit, though, I guess. You really not, don't. Not, not the bullshit. You, you know really mean? don't. What? You get, like, fructose from that. You yeah, I understand that, but I'm saying if I'm going to get it, I'd rather eat it from real fruit. Oh, fructose. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're talking yeah. just fruit. Yeah, 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 I'm just thinking you mean sugars. No, 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 not all sugars. All right. Sorry, my I bad. Get, my my bad. bad. They're just saying you. like a like a high intake of fructose is is linked to a lot of these cancers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So moderation, right? Like anything else, your body needs it. So yeah, have an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? That doesn't mean have an apple and then. Chew on gummy bears the rest of the day. Do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. So it's for all sure. about, I mean, and, and no matter how you look at it, like pizza, like pizza sauces, spaghetti sauces. I love chicken parmesan. It's one of my favorite meals. My fiance makes an amazing chicken parmesan. Mm. I try to have it once a week. She won't do it though. But um, there's sugar in that in that sauce. And then we use Rao's sauce, which doesn't have as much sugar in it. But did you ever like look at some of these ragus and shit like that? How much sugar in it? There's like almost as much as a fucking two liter bottle of soda in somebody's fucking. Yeah, I have, I have Prego. It's bad. It's not that bad, but there is a lot of sugar. Yeah, in it. well, Rao, going... Rao was the one that had the most least sugar in it and is was it... best tasting fucking tomato sauce or, you know what I mean? Whatever like that. It was fucking bought out by Campbell's. Yeah, well. So what's going to happen now? Let's fucking think. Yeah. Let's think what's going to happen I don't buy now. like the jars of, uh, of like spaghetti sauce and stuff. I'll like take the tomato paste. I'll, I'll buy like the packets to make my own. Oh, that's cool. But, oh, yeah. oh, doing I do that. Mr. Fancy Pants yeah. makes his own tomato sauce. <laughs> well, it's not my own tomato <laughs> sauce. It's not like I'm crushing my I'm own tomatoes. Easy, but, dude. That's but yeah. great. That's no, how I, you're I supposed just, to do yeah, it. Yeah, that's what yeah. I, do. I don't. That's how you're supposed yeah. to do it. I don't like. I don't like buying the jars of stuff. I just that's like like exactly. waffles. You can make them at home. Yeah. yeah. Or you go get them with high fructose corn syrup. No. Right. <laughs> sprinkles in them. Yeah. Or chocolate oh. chips. Oh, man, are they good? Uh, that's the point <laughs> that is the point <laughs> yeah. but I mean like like you said like so keto diets then are um, not keto diets low carb low carb diets they're mm. not good then or no carb diets like we're the no. diets oh we're not eating carbs we're not going to do carbs or you know, the carnivore diet how about the carnivore diet that's straight fucking meat no carbs and you're saying the brain and the body needs some carbs yeah, you get in the ketosis and the body eventually creates it, right? Yeah. But you still don't get the same. It's not the same. It's not. Now, I when I did it, I had super focus. I actually, well, okay, no, I went through, I was sick for the first couple of days. Then I couldn't think at all. I, had, I was, I, it, that's what, I, I'm imagining that's what ADHD is like, because I couldn't think. Just couldn't get clear, you just I, couldn't clear, focus on something. I couldn't no, focus I could on think. a damn thing. I could think, you it's think just. So. My mind goes so fucking fast with a bunch of different things. It's hard to, for me to focus on one thing. That's how I am. I can't stay oh, on one thing. Okay. For, no, I can't stay on one thing like for too long. I have to fucking change it up constantly. Oh, oh no, no, this no, wasn't like that. that. No, no, this was literally. I couldn't think. I could code for hours. Like, it was just it's like, weird. Like I'll, I'll think. Like like even when we're doing this, so I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. Sometimes when we're sitting here talking about things, I'll focus on what you're saying, and you'll say something, and my mind like goes off onto that real quick. Yeah, like riddling. And then it's like. I, oh, right, hold on. I have to fucking get back into this. I have to, think, I have to listen more. Like I, and like, that, that's what happens to me. Like I think mm. of things and you say something that reminds me of something. And then I think about that. Tangent. And then I, I, I lose where we are in this conversation. And then I have to get back into it. Like I do that with boring ones. If it's a boring conversation, happens. it doesn't I'll, matter I don't, what I don't, what I don't, mean, I don't pay attention. For me, it doesn't but, matter what it's almost like, a, like there's like a trigger word in the thing that has my mind go up onto something else. So you're you know? triggered? No, I'm not triggered. I'm not, I'm not a liberal, so <laughs> let's relax. That. Yep, I'm, I'm already, <laughs> yeah. already thinking about shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, my mind really anyways, is, you think about fat, it's like I think I'm not going to say <laughs> No, nope, I'm nope. not even going to tell you my process here. because. Anyways, <laughs> so anyways, but after that first week or two, though, then I have laser sharp focus, and that's my body switching the ketones to glucose to go to the brain to focus. I think I want to try that just to see how oh, it's it intense. helps. It's intense. The first week or two sucks. I kind of want to try just but to after see. That, just to see. Because I'm telling you, my ADHD is probably fucking, it's, it's bad. It's very yeah. bad. So I, I'm actually curious on what it'll do if I try and go like that route, do that process. I, I, I felt like a superhero on it. Yeah. I really did. To see. Um. Besides my gut screaming at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, I mean, I would do like a carnivore diet or something like that, but I have gout. Yeah. There's the fuck out of me. So it's you want me supposed to, take... to actually help gout because sugar creates inflammation. All sugar. Yeah, yeah. but there's high amount of pur- purines 
and uric acid and meat, red meat compared to other things. So that's oh, what worries me. Oh, that's different. Yeah. That's what worries know. me. Don't eat red meat. Go fish and chicken, bro. Who's what? the biggest fan of fish? Oh, oh my Attic. God. I like to live off Attic it. Attic is okay. And flounder was okay for me. Those my, are... my taste is chickeny. My, well, I, I, my, I, it's, my, it's a very chickeny my, kind of uh, my, That's my, why I kind of like. Not very fishy. Yeah. So Good. I wasn't like I said I hate fish, fish, but I could eat haddock and I could eat I like flounder. Haddock. I like haddock because they're not. It's not White super fish. I won't do tilapia because I know no, how tilapia yeah. is made in the U.S. and how tilapia is processed. So I don't want, I don't want school yeah. fish. I'm good. Yeah, that's true. I mean, tilapia, and tilapia is a good fish, but there's no fish oil in it. Yeah, it's all fucking yeah. bullshit. I mean, it's like nuts. You talk about nuts, they squeeze all the fucking. Oils out of the nuts, and then they put the, the name. Of course, you want to change talk about the nuts. They change the Ways color. Nuts. They change the color okay, of the nuts tense. and put them back in. The, so, like, if you buy nuts at Giant or something like that, they're not. You're not. You're not getting the omegas out of those nuts because that's out of there. How do they take it out? I don't know. This is what I'm. I'm telling Eddie. Told me about this. He said if you go out there and you get nuts, that they take most of the nutrients and shit out of the nuts, so you're not really getting much out of there. Is that the, is that the ground soil fertilization? Maybe Probably. I don't know. Eddie's, uh, Eddie's chemical smart. Thing? We're trying to get him on a podcast. Here, yeah, so, but uh, he's a dude, smart wait, guy. you need that motherfucker because you ain't taking that out of the nut. But if you take it out of the ground, yeah, I'm down. I can't. Do if this. you take it out of the <laughs> ground and you you raise these foods that are not as nutrition. Nutrition packed as they were a hundred years ago because the soil soil's trash. You're covering them in chemicals. Yes. So then the nutrition value is lost in them. <clears throat> I could see it from that argument, but how the heck are they squeezing? <laughs> <laughs> I squeezing <laughs> omegas. I have no I idea. squeeze I'm these frats so- out of these nuts. <laughs> we're gonna have. Well, I'll, I'll put that in my notes, and we'll make sure we ask Eddie about it. Yeah, I'm curious. That's Eddie interesting. Believes I never, a lot of different I never things, heard of that yeah. one. Eddie, uh, Eddie will open your Nuts. mind. Yes, I have one right here. It's bulky, but I consider it carry on. Why not? <laughs> well, it's like the same thing with carrots. Like I was told, don't buy baby carrots because they oh, put baby carrots yeah. and bleach and everything like that. But if you're going to buy carrots, buy carrots with the green shit on the back yep. of it because they didn't touch it. They can't do nothing with it yet. They came right out of ground. Yep. It still tastes a little dirty. You have to peel it yourself. Dirty. It does yeah. taste like dirt. It does taste like dirt. Yeah. I'd say no, it's good. The fuck? You get these little baby carrots, they soak them in bleach. A little bit of deer tail. What are you eating bleach for? I mean, well, it's like citric acid. I didn't know that, you uh, know, citric acid is kind of like the sour taste in yeah, yeah. foods. And it's supposed to citric, you know, fruits. It comes yeah. from fruits. 90 some percent of it does not come from fruits. They grow a mold on sugar. And then they refine it from that. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. How crazy is that? That's crazy. How crazy? You ain't getting no fruit sour. You getting moldy, sugared nastiness. So I wonder. I wonder is there is there is the FDA held to any liability? Anything? So like, say we can prove that these sugars that they're doing and everything like that, and splitting it up and making all these names, we can prove that they're harming the body. Isn't the FDA set up to stop? Stuff from harming the fucking body. What what is the reason for the FDA then? I don't freaking know. I don't know. And if you look at if you look at um supplements, for instance, you can have ah. supplements out on the lawn on the fucking shelf before the FDA even gets involved. And the only thing the FDA does with those is make sure that in every dosage is the same amount of stuff in it that you're saying is in it. So if you take a 500 milligram tablet of vitamin C, they want to make they'll take um, just random samples out of those 500 to make sure that it's 500 milligrams. Mm-hmm. That's all they fucking do. So what is exactly the use of the Food and Drug Administration if it's not to stop food companies from putting bullshit in, in food to make us sick? Because right. they're not fucking doing that. Now, so what's their liability? Can we sue them as, c- as citizens since they're a company or an entity that's paid by tax dollars? I don't know. When it comes to supplements, though, there is... I, I, Proprietary blend is just is the basically the natural flavors version for yeah. for supplements. You yeah. can put oh, pre- slap pri- pri- proprietary blend on any supplement, and you can put whatever you want. They found one company was using pine needles. They were grinding up pine needles oh. as their base. What? No nutritional value, nothing. That was their base because it had proprietary blend. They were allowed to do it. No fucking way. <laughs> it's the natural flavors cover all label for, for supplements. Yeah, and then and then the second thing of it is is what consequences and repercussions are there really for these companies? They just have to pay a portion of the money that they made doing the illegal activities. So we go back to Pfizer, right? So 
maybe, maybe, maybe there should be more harsh, strict consequences instead of you just paying so many millions of dollars to the government and then that gets split out for the people that you hurt amongst them. Why not do that? Why not make the company fold? Why don't you just take everything off the company? Yeah. You're doing this scummy. You hurt how many people you got doctors involved. All those doctors should lose their licenses because they were manipulated and they took a dollar off them. That whole company should be dismantled. Every Mm. asset that that company has should be split off, sold and given to everybody that they hurt. Mm. Wow. But We don't do that. We don't do that. Instead, we just say, slap a fine on them. Go to Congress. Here's a, here's a fucking fine. Pay your fucking fine. Move on. Now do something else where you make three times as much money as you just made on the last fucking thing you did and screw everybody the fuck over. What Mm -hmm. did they do this time? They went to the doctors again, didn't they? Vax, 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 vax. Mm -hmm. Fucking vax, vax, vax. You know what I mean? Now we have 20-some-year-old fucking people having heart attacks that you've never fucking heard of before. We have athletes fucking keeling over on the fucking fields. Yep. Professional athletes Dude, that are the best, best shape, best shape, best shape of their fucking life. Yeah. Best shape than all of us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Best shape us. than all of us put together right the fuck here and they're oh, falling yeah. over Going from fucking cardiac arrest. Cardiac the arrest they do because... have enlarged hearts, though. That is I have a real thing. Heart. Why, am I not, why am I not dying out? I have an enlarged heart? It is a risk. I'm fucking 41. My, my uncle also had an enlarged heart. That is a risk. Yeah. I mean, I have an enlarged heart. That's a problem. And soccer players do get that. Yeah. I, I have all a the big running. heart, too. Yeah. Oh. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, that's, all, that's all I'm saying is, you know, yeah. Now it's shrank. It, 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 it could happen, but you could live with an enlarged heart. And, you know, an enlarged heart doesn't mean that your heart grows. It means that your chamber is closed. That's what an enlarged heart is. It means your, oh, is that what that is? Yes. So when you have an enlarged heart, that doesn't mean that your heart gets bigger in your chest cavity. Oh. That means that your the, the, the muscle or the muscle layers of your heart gets thicker. Oh, which well, yeah, makes yeah. Which makes your, your four chambers close Smaller. in. Oh, I didn't know that's what mm-hmm. that meant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, wow. So I had some idiot explain it to me as it's like flopping back and forth in your chest. I'm like, huh. No, that would be like a valve okay. or something that's off. That would, be <laughs> yeah, a, right. that would be a valve or something that's off. It's muscle tissue. So if you have an enlarged heart, that means you have enlarged muscle on your heart because your, your heart's a muscle. Every, right. You know, so it could grow yeah. in a bad way and, and get too large. And then the, your muscle, your, your muscle walls get, or your heart walls or your muscle walls get real thick. That's yeah. always your large heart. That's crazy. I never, I never knew that's like what the problem was. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I have an enlarged heart. Uh, I'm not vaccinated. I have an enlarged heart. I'm, I'm 41. I haven't had a problem my whole life, and I busted my dick my whole life working out. You know what I mean? Uh, Sports, everything. You know, like, what's yeah. the difference? It worries me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I do. And that's the problem. The government allows these big corporations to have. Um, these down. stipulations where they uh, they don't get in trouble. They're protected. So, like for this whole vax thing, you cannot go after Pfizer or anybody no. for anything. Why? Because the government has something in cahoots with them mm-hmm. where you're not allowed to go after them. So the government is protecting the business, not the people. The mm-hmm. government's supposed to work for the people because they make money off the people, right? But yet they're covering for big business. Well, of course, because they're they they own their stocks. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly why. Exactly. <laughs> and because the people that put them in power are telling them what to do. Otherwise, they won't be in power for the next election year. Because mm-hmm. they have to get funds for the election, right? Yep. That has got to be solved. What do you yeah. mean? They're not going to solve is- shit. We just gave more money to Ukraine. We just gave $500 uh, more million dollars to Ukraine. If you take the money that we originally gave to Ukraine... Zelensky, who should have been using the money for Ukraine, used the money on fucking FTX, a cryptocurrency with Sam Bankman freed. Yeah. That money got funneled back to the Democratic Party for fucking Fetterman to win Pennsylvania. Oof. That's no offense. That's, that's kind of what happened. Oof. A big push for him, fucking Democratic money. And then they left Frank, they didn't even go after Bankman, Freed Bank, whatever fuck his name is. They didn't even go after him. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. They had a they had a thing on him. Um, did you hear what happened to him though? Did no, you hear what the outcome I, of it I was? I didn't hear what the outcome he, he, was. It was like bra- practically he got. It was like two entities that were, I saw it on fucking TikTok. I don't even know exactly what it is now. I hope I don't fucking fuck this up too much. There was like two things going on at once. They kind of like sheared off the government side of it and just didn't follow up with it anymore. But they did go after Bankman Freed a little bit. But he's only getting like a minimum bullshit, bro. He stole millions and millions of fucking dollars. Yeah. Like, how are you only gonna get a fucking slap on the wrist? Is that really all you got? I'm curious because I I didn't follow up with it afterwards. I knew they were going after him. Yeah, and his little his little 
Plus but, but, Palace. Just, I guess my question is, is if, if they're going <laughs> after so him, crazy. if yeah. they're going after him, and we could follow the money going back to the Democratic Party, why are we not going after the Democratic Party? Because oh, they had yeah, something right. to do with it. Yeah, they had something to fucking do with it. So why are we not going after them? So that's the two piece sizes that we're going off. But they said that ah, the government's fine. Let's just go after him. And then they didn't go after him that bad. Yeah. All right. So let's get back to sugar real quick. Uh, one of the things I want to say is, is as somebody who's also addicted to sugar, and trust me, I'm not out of the addiction. I still am fighting it. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to, I mean, I did keto for a while, but keto is not a lifestyle for me. Um, your food is basically fucked. Like I, I went through my house and I have maybe a few meats. Actually, my peanut butter was good. Yeah. I had Skippy's natural peanut butter. It was actually perfectly good. It's nice. fine. Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, huh, there's something. <laughs> <laughs> but like they, they put the salt in to cover up the sugar to make you addicted. And I mean, you got to turn around and read your ingredients. You got to read your ingredients. And you got to start cutting sugar out, man. It's killing you. Yeah. It's killing you. And your body and your dopamine so your brain and your dopamine work together that's two separate entities of your body coming together to make you want that yeah so you have to use your um mind because your brain's already working against you you have to use your mind to fight this you literally have to yeah that's what it comes down to because brain and body are against you you gotta be disciplined that's not easy to be and what's Bullshit is the big companies know this and they're just oh, jamming no. it in there. Mm-hmm. So yes, it's your fault that you know you you gain weight. Yes, it's your fault. You put the food in your mouth. But they don't give you a study, whole lot of options. But we advertised it for for you every fucking five minutes on the television for you to see it. But it's your fault. But it's oh, your fault. We're oh yeah, make how you much? addicted here? We're gonna throw some salt over it so you don't really taste how sweet it is. And we're chucked. Oh, yeah, how, how much sugar is in fast food? Poor shit. That's what I have for sugar. It's poison, but it's necessary. I have to take control. Yep. And forget anything that is a zero calorie sugar. It is going to absolutely destroy you and make you gain weight. Yep. The studies show it makes you gain weight. Yep. I'd rather see you drink a regular soda one a day than three fucking diet sodas a day. 100%. Yep. Because those 100%. diet sodas are worse than fucking real soda. Just drink the real fucking soda. You're yep. not doing yourself a favor by doing You know, I love, I love it go when you go, to a, you go to a fast food restaurant and you see somebody sitting there eating, <laughs> or they'll, they'll order a fucking <laughs> two big cheeseburgers, a fry, and they'll get a Diet Coke. Like, the Diet Coke is really fucking helping you out with your fucking <laughs> 3,000 calories of fucking food next to it. You know so, what I mean? Like, so there's a study you're not I, doing nothing. There's a study I heard on that. Um, when, you, when you do that, you Diet Coke and burger, when you do that over and over and over, your body gets used to sending all the uh, 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 mitochondria to break down the, the, the food, right? Yeah. Uh, the enzymes. When you take the burger out and you just drink the diet soda, your brain thinks the burger's still there. Oh, shit. So it's still sending. So it resistance. Oh, oh, man, Christ. dude. Yeah. That's right. I don't drink soda. That's I not really good. Don't, I, don't, I don't ever drink soda. I don't really either. I don't like carbonation. I had one yesterday. I'm mm-hmm. not a big fan, but I like it with like my, 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 when I have a bad, bad food, oh, I like having me a soda, especially if it's salty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you said, you said I didn't know Taco soda Bell. was a salty thing. What? What There's soda? tons of sodium in it. Oh, yeah. I oh, that. I that. Boom. Soda, sodium. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like what? I thought yeah. it was which a sweet one, which thing. Which one? Which one's a salty one that you like? Salty what? <laughs> you said it's like, especially if it's a salty soda. Like what soda? No, I mean a salty food. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Uh, salty. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, but you know when I first realized that soda was salty yeah. was uh, Jurassic Park. In the first one, Ned was it mm-hmm. Ned? The, 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 the fat guy? Yeah, the fat guy. That's, that he's tries like, to gonna, steal stuff? Yeah, he's like, I'm going to go get something salty yeah. from the you know soda machine or something like that. I'm like, yeah. so it ain't salty. That sure yeah, as is. fuck is. Yeah. That sure. And oh. Yeah. I thought he was just lying that he was just going to go get, I don't know, whatever. Well, yeah, he right was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fat shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> but that's all I got. That's all I got. Hey, good. Very informative. I've learned a lot. And yeah, me too. I'm going to stay too. away from soda. 
I don't like it. Dude, mm-hmm. so so sugary drinks I like soda are with the Chinese number food. Sugary drinks Water. are the number one reason people go over their calories. Yeah. Just switch it out for water, people. I, I know plenty As of people. As I sip my super sweet coffee. I know people that don't drink water at all, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's no, I don't know what you mean. I know people at that don't all? drink water. They, I, they can't, they can't, my, my father, my dad was, was the same way. He could not drink water by itself. He needed propellant in it. He needed something oh, in it to taste. Yeah. You can't yeah. just drink fucking straight I water. No, nope. I drink well water. I love my water. If I drink water, I can't, I take my own water to the gym. I won't drink wa- water at the gym because mm. I can taste the fucking difference. Yeah. Now. If yeah. I take that water at the gym, it's like, a, it's like drinking down a, a fucking swimming pool to me. That's what it. <laughs> that's what it. That's what. It, yeah. That's what it's like on my palate. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Boring. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. So I drink well water. So I mean, like, I love my water, man. Every like the way I look at it is this: your your blood is sludge. Everybody's blood is sludge. No matter how you look at it or not, you have thick blood, whatever. It's sludge. Um, if you drink water, it thins the blood. Yeah. They say you are thirty percent less likely to have a cardiac event if you have six ounces of water before and after bed. Oh. Interesting. That's yes. pretty good. Your heart like and that. your heart rate is actually, or your blood pressure is highest in the morning when you first wake up, too. Oh. It's high, not highest. Sorry, I don't want to say that because, I mean, I, my blood pressure is higher throughout the day than it is in the morning. But in the morning, you, when you're waking up, your blood pressure tends to be a little higher. So if your blood pressure elevates a little bit to wake up in the morning and you're dehydrated, that's where cardiovascular events oh. happen because your blood, is, your blood is thick. It's coagulated. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't have the water, water in it. And when you think about it, when you piss, you're not pissing water out of your stomach. You're pissing water out of your blood. That's water. That's that water that you're pissing was in the blood. Yeah. Did yeah. you know that? So it was screened. Yeah. It was yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so therefore, you know, if you don't, if you, if you don't have that water in the blood to make it thin, think about it. If you have a filter, if you have a filter and you have thick water coming through a filter, it's going to take long for that water to get through the filter because it's right. still so thick. But if you thin it. Those are, yeah, that's yeah. why they're saying baby aspirin, 80, 81 milligram baby aspirin is good. I don't think that that's good because they're saying aspirin is not good for the stomach. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, some I at mean, one point in time, one, yeah, yeah, at one point in time, doctors are saying to take a baby aspirin every day to keep you away from, oh from heart attack because it thins your blood. But I don't agree with that. I think of just drink more fucking water. Way right. to destroy your gut biome. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, not only that, it, 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 causes, um, it causes your body to, to hemorrhage and shit like that if you take too much. Like NSAIDs. Is that right? Yeah. Those are the those are like known for like kidney problems, like huge kidney problems. They cause kidney problems. They cause gut problems. Yep. You know, I knew I knew somebody that was taking a thousand milligrams of ibuprofen a day, and it ended up that their their bowel perforated or their their intestines perforated. And they started bleeding on the inside Holy from, shit. from yep. taking that much ibuprofen. And this stuff is over the counter, so you gotta I watch. Do. You know what I mean? I don't take I don't take anything for pain. I try not to take yeah, anything me too. for pain. Yeah, same here. You know I, what I mean? I had a friend who was doing that for tooth pain. He didn't have much money. Uh, he got C diff. Yeah, and taking the ibuprofen. Yeah. Wow, C diff. Yep. 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 He was in the hospital. And then he for a while. Poop. They needed a poop injection. Your favorite, yeah, the poop and j- your, your favorite, favorite thing. Your favorite thing. How do we always We're fucking back circle back to this? Every <laughs> <laughs> fucking time. I don't know how we're on painkillers for a sugar episode. Yeah, yeah but still. But okay. None, yeah. Nonetheless, nonetheless. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's like anything else. Moderation. Yeah. Don't fuck it up. 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 With that. Yeah. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> don't fuck it up. <laughs> Don't fuck Stay it up. Sugar. Don't Stay away from sugar. Have diet, discipline. Diet bullshit. Fuck yeah. off. Read your ingredients. Pay attention. No, understand. Like I just learned today. Don't trust that the government. There is so many fucking words for sugar. Yep. So if you look at the ingredients, they always say if you look at the ingredients and there's something on there that you can't pronounce, you shouldn't be eating it. They always say that. Yeah. But we don't do that. Huh. But now if we look at the ingredients, we know that those ingredients aren't always different ingredients. They could be the same thing with just different names, like you said today with sugar. Just to get there, just to get it from the beginning, get it away from the beginning. So, like, it could be like, let's put it this way: if you're looking at ingredients or something, and the third or fourth ingredient is sugar, uh, there's probably more sugar below it. <laughs> and if that's the case, and the more sugar is below it when you add it to it, that's going to move it from the fourth or the third ingredient. The first, yeah. yeah, like you're saying, and, and on top of it, like I said, sugar's that one to one ratio, whereas some of these artificial sweeteners are like one to a thousand ratio. Yeah. So that little bit is the same as being right up top in the front. Yep. But they don't have to say that. Wow. Yep. 
crazy. Keep trucking. Keep trusting your government and the FDA people. <laughs> Fucking fools. Question everything. <laughs> everything. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. you send us an email uh, to talk about purpose at gmail.com. If you have any questions, let us know. Oh. Um, all of your feedback really helps and we love answering it. So anything you want to put out, let us know. Yep. Anything we could help out with, let us know. Yeah. Questions, mm-hmm. Any anything. topics? Matt, Matt knows a lot of shit. He I don't. A, no. You, well, you do a lot of you do a lot of research. <laughs> like you, you, yeah. We were uh, we were just talking about earlier. Like the amount of re- research we do doesn't even touch the amount of research that you do. Like we we yeah. could research, but you just research better than we do. It is what it is. It is. Um, You're better at it than we are. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Take so, a lot, a so I mean, time. worst case yeah. scenario, <laughs> yeah. we can, if somebody has a question, you might already have the answer. If not, then we can collaborate inside and just give our best hypothesis at it or something yeah. like that or you know what i mean um probably the best way right. that i could find unless i watch unless i watch video, I can't, my adhd doesn't allow me to sit there and read constantly i have to watch videos uh, you have that to I can read do. yeah i can't i do read research. Yeah. i do read just you it's hard to, to fucking yeah. hard for me to concentrate because yeah. i'll see one word in that topic and i'll be like oh yeah i remember that when i was seven years old that there was this guy that said that the one time in a store Oh yeah, how's that store doing? Okay, all right, we're already yeah. off on another. Yeah, oh, see, yeah. that's what it does. Yeah, <laughs> I wow. could never live no, like no, that. No, me neither. That's, I, uh, all the time, bro. No, when when I don't get a lot of sleep, I get like that. I get like that. Yeah, yeah. When I was on math, I, I got like I was like that on math. I'd have like seven you different projects. You weren't focused. I was not focused on math. Really? Like people, maybe I would be if I didn't do so much of it. I don't know what to say. So like, <laughs> <laughs> when. When I would do it, it would, um, I'd have like seven projects going halfway done and nothing would be done because I wouldn't be able to sit there and do one for a long period of time where I'd get distracted or I'd say, oh, fuck, I need to go get that. And I would go get that and I would go get that. And I'd be like, oh, this is a fucking mess. I need to clean this up. So now I'd start cleaning that the fuck up when I was just going there for a pair of pliers. I'm going there for a fucking pair of pliers. Now I have the garage ripped apart and I'm reorganizing everything. And I still have the project downstairs that needed the pair of pliers for me to even fucking work on. That, sounds, it was a fucking mess. I right. fucking hated it. It sounds like my wife. <laughs> Seriously, and my girlfriend. She fucking hate it. She'd be like, oh, oh yeah, well, I wanted fuck. to clean the table, so I took everything off the table, and I went to go put it in the dishwasher. I opened up the dishwasher. The dishwasher wasn't unloaded. So then I started to unload the dishwasher, and then I went to go put everything away, and I realized that I needed to reorganize the cabinets. Yeah. So I pulled everything out of the cabinets to reorganize the cabinets, and then I realized oh. I didn't have anywhere to put anything on these counters. So I wanted to clean off the counters and put them on the table, which I just cleaned off because I needed to fucking put every, all the dirty dishes in the dishwasher. So I was like, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, man. That was me. That's what happened. That was me. Uh, anyways. So all I right. can relate, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Mine, mine stopped as soon as I stopped putting stuff up my nose. So I wish it was that easy for <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah. get angry if I, 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 get, I get a little angry if I don't finish something, though. Anyway, we were ending this episode. Oh, so have yeah. a, have a uh, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, right? Yep. There. Riddling Adderall. What? <laughs> Riddling Adderall. <laughs> thanks. Oh, that's all right. Thanks. Bye, See you guys. Take care.